is the 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands Sasquatch. And it's weird having the, the windows here as well. Like in the... Well, that's where they are. Yeah, right here. I was looking everywhere for them. <laughs> You're like, where's my windows? <laughs> Than a minute to get this thing stuck. Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. White Rock Dodge. Rip Superchargers. And in part by... What's up guys, hope you had a good weekend. Welcome back. It is 2022 and we are getting things rolling with a bang here. As you can see, we're at a Ford dealership. That's right guys, it is here. This is the 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands Sasquatch. It's got the 2.7 liter engine. It's got 35 inch tires, lockers, all the stuff. It's fully loaded, Lux package. Here it is. Wow, man. I love the color. The first thing you see is the, is the grill, just with the headlights and everything, because I love the headlights they've done. With the IFS, it must be a lot more comfortable just on road manners, right? Yeah. I like how it's got the rock rails there too. It's big, eh? It is it's, big, it's, yeah. It's chunkier yeah, it's, it's than... A, yeah, yeah, like everyone says vehicle. in person, they're a lot more chunky, right? Can I open up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's weird with just the... Yeah, it is weird. It feels weird, that's, that's right? That's weird. Look at that. Yeah, look at all the handles and stuff. Yeah. yeah it's weird having the, the windows here as well, like in the... Oh, that's where they are. Yeah, right here. I was looking everywhere for them. <laughs> You're like, where's my windows? <laughs> Yeah, the seats are... Seats They're are way more comfortable, right? Way better. They're so much nicer way than Jeep better. seats. Oh, look at, look at the size of this door. <laughs> the space in here. It's different. It's very different. There's a lot of cues they've taken from Jeep and just improved so many more things, right? Bars, but look how much more space there is. Yeah, there's quite there's a bit more space. There's actually space to add stuff get your stuff hand down things and, yeah. yeah. It's got a little flapper valve. A little so flapper if you have water valve. in here, it'll... Really? Yeah, it'll drain it up. Sweet. Nice little flapper drainage. This is the first time I've seen the engine compartment. And the main thing that I like is that there's, you can actually put stuff in here. Like you can put an air compressor in here probably, no problem. <laughs> this screen is actually quite responsive. Yeah. Look at that, it's like really responsive. It's like an iPad. There's good. Persona is all is hopeless in the game now. The wrong devotion flows through those who chase the same cloud. The pollen flowing through the industry got this congested. I'm XXL if they fit the pen in. They pick as freshmen. I asked the message DM. Okay. All right, so the first thing we did obviously was come over to Epic Adventure Outfitters, disconnect the, uh, the, they call it a stay bar? Stop bar? Stop bar, stabilizer. Sway bar, whatever. And uh, we lifted it up with a four clip to uh, check out the flex, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We're gonna make it better. I see the shoe fitting well on you Cinderella boys. Cause dress it feminine, stepping in as a selling point. Renting toys, taking pics. Hope you break a thousand likes. Claim you got that life, but never see you out at night. I'ma need you to vacate the premises. You really reaching a man. Is this the road to the ski lodge? Yeah. <laughs> the skating rink, I think you mean. <laughs> it's crazy up here. <laughs> hmm. Too wet. So just because I know I'm gonna get this question constantly, because I already have an Instagram, no, we are not getting rid of the Gladiator. It's right here. We're supercharging it this month. Wait, you said I could have the Gladiator, man. No, the Bronco, there's not a whole lot of parts out for it yet, so it is gonna take us a while to get this built. It's also gonna be my wife's vehicle. We're gonna see if we can teach her how to wheel, and then we can take both vehicles out on some trips. So that's kind of the, the vague plan. All right, we're gonna take this thing out to Stave Lake, which is kind of what you do with the new 4x4. We're trying to get it stuck. Just uh, aired down my new Bronco. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of that for me. Uh, you know, I don't tip very well, though. 
This is what it's like uh, being on the story till now when you're not Sean. You gotta air them down and do everything. <laughs> I here I was trying to go down to 15 but uh, I didn't have proper air down tools so back to basics here with the Bronco how's that feeling for you Casey are you, are you slipping at all It took me about uh, less than a minute to get this thing stuck, so let's uh, let's get it into four or low here and see if we can get out of this. All right, that wasn't actually too bad. A little bit of a hole there. Got out without any trouble. Just put it in four low, went forward. I think Casey's gonna go. Hey, fly! <laughs> have some kind of fancy mode that'll get me out of this, right? Lockers! Ha <laughs> ha I forgot about lockers. All right, we're locked. Locker did it. New vehicles, man. You don't even think about like <laughs> the features that you're supposed to be using, like lockers. I don't think I can even get this thing stuck now. All right, let's try this cornering mode. Tail turn assist on. Right, Casey talk to me about what just happened here because here I've got this brand new 2021 Bronco it's got this feature called turn assist trail turn assist which 
I'm just going to call donut mode. It's pretty much donut it's mode. It's pretty much donut mode. But you were able to do it too. Z Automotive just added a new feature to the Taser JL. If you don't already have one, grab one because you can add this new turn assist feature to your Wranglers and That's Gladiators. Crazy. You know, if you have a lifted JL or Gladiator, you probably have a Taser JL that you're using to uh, adjust gear ratio and tire size and so your speedometer's correct and all that. But it also has all these other awesome features uh, that they keep adding. Check out my video because we're walking through all the new features. Yeah, check out Casey's video if you want to see all the new features because he's doing a video just on that. I'll put a link to that and then he'll have a link where you can buy it. What do you think about the Bronco so far? I'm really impressed. Honestly, out of the box, the Badlands Sasquatch package looks great. I really like that they've included the 35 inch tires on it. I think it's got a really good aggressive stance following it down the trail. With that hard top, it looks awesome. And uh, 35's out of the box, you can't beat that. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys about some of the stuff that I like about it uh, that I've noticed. Uh, we'll go do that and then we'll do a couple more tests. All right guys, so there's a lot of things I really like about the Bronco uh, coming from the Jeep. First of all, you've got these nice switches up here for your mode. So we've got uh, sway bar disconnect or stay bar as they call it, uh, your front and rear lockers and the turn assist, which we just uh, tested out uh, successfully. Stable traction control and of course your emergency flashers. And then also up here, which might be kind of hard to see, there's a USB port. So I've got a couple action cameras up here and that means I don't have to have cables coming you know, across my screen here. And then up here, you've got your aux switches. There's six of them and they're up here. The nice little clacky switches. The seats are so comfortable. Down here, there is a wireless charging station where you can put your phone. And then it also has wireless Android Auto and CarPlay. This grab handle also looks removable, which I think will be great for using the mounting points for other accessories, like maybe a tablet holder or something. I'm sure some third party manufacturer is gonna come up with uh, some features like that. All right, there you have it, guys. First official flex in the Bronco, not using a forklift. That flex is pretty good, to be honest. I mean, once we get some bigger suspension on, it's gonna be crazier. That's the coolest thing about the, uh, the setup they've got going on here on the Bronco, is you can disconnect the sway bar when you're under load. And uh, I was really curious how well that would work, and it does work really well. All right, it's pretty cold out here. I think we're gonna head back. Brandon's uh, truck here is not able to get up the hill. His four-wheel drive is not working, and this road is like a sheet of ice. The Bronco's doing fine, but we're gonna try and get him to a flat spot and see if we can get going. Be a roll of ice here. Right now, we are pulling a Dodge Ram up the hill with the Bronco. We're in four low, got the lockers engaged. It's pretty slick out here, but uh, so far, no problem. All the way up, Sean. I said I'd take him to a flat spot, so maybe we'll stop here and see what he wants to do. Yeah, I'll be sure he starts sliding down here. Do you think you'll be good here, or you, you want to go all the way out, or? I, I think I'm good. I can't believe I, how like, slippery this is. I know. It's nuts. It's ridiculous. One, if there's any incline, I can't move at all. Well, <laughs> you can you can follow us, and okay. we'll we'll wait, and if you get stuck, then we'll hook back up. Okay. Yeah. If you. Got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> what else are we gonna do but four by four stuff, right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Beautiful day for it. Yeah. We got a bigger hill. Casey's gonna go for the pull on this one. He's got the diesel. sideways the whole way around. 
<laughs> Those cars were a little unfortunate, right? Yeah. <laughs> that car was really close. Yeah. At least <laughs> my my butt was out to the other side. Yeah. No, I was like going by. I'm like, oh, just don't want to. I don't want to drift it at all. Yeah. <laughs> the car's like this far away. <laughs> going to be it for this uh, little Bronco test video. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>